This is Chris Menard. Let me show you how to write a numeric switch in Microsoft Word when you perform a mail merge. Here's my data that I'm going to do a mail merge with in Excel. The first row is the header row, of course. Look at column J. It has purchases to date. Uh, the first number is 1,500.29, and it's for Peter Kelly. So let's do the mail merge. Let me show you how to write this switch. Because what will happen when you do the mail merge, the numbers, even though they had a dollar sign and a comma, will show up like this. But I want to see them with the dollar sign, the comma, and the two decimals. So I already have a letter written. We're going to go to mailings. It's already a letter. Select recipients. Existing list. Find your Excel file. That was the name of the worksheet. I'm going to just put in two fields. There's their address. Hit address block. And here's how you write the numeric switch. I want to put in from insert merge field the purchases to date. That was column J. If I hit preview results, look at purchases to date. There's Peter Kelly. But it's 1,529, no dollar symbol, no comma. So I'm going to turn off preview results, right click purchases to date, and I'm going to hit toggle field codes. Once you click toggle field codes, don't click anywhere because the insertion points at the correct place. You're going to do a backspace, a pound symbol, and that means numeric switch, the pound symbol. Space bar. And then how do you want the numbers to look? I want a dollar symbol. I want a comma. And I also want two decimal places. So even though it says 0 .00, it actually will show, if it's 0 .29, it'll show it. And even though I only have one comma, if the number's 150,000, it'll put, I'm sorry, if the number's in the millions, it'll put in the correct number of commas. So there you go, right there is the switch. I'm going to right click and I'm going to update the field. It says purchases to date again, but preview results. And there's Peter Kelly and there's the number. I'm going to go to the next record and check it. So it's working. One last thing, if you right click, toggle the field codes. If you don't want money, let's say it's inventory, then it would be that right there. Right click, let's test it. Update field, there you go. So that's how you write a numeric switch in Microsoft Word. Thank you.